Hello and welcome to Coaster Strike, my name is Tom and welcome to episode 3 of Coaster Bay, our pirate themed theme park. In episode 1 we built a plaza area with a nice wooden board, a view of this cliff with a beautiful waterfall and just the entryway to the park. Episode 2 we built some shops in the plaza and in today's episode I'm going to be building a wonderful beachside cafe on this wonderful like raised deck and in the end I'm really really happy with it I love how it turned out and to be honest I don't think I could have done much better now last episode I started with the first half I was talking throughout the entire time uh, about what had been happening in Planet Coaster recently roller coasters uh, not generally stuff related to what I was doing but I occasionally checked in and then the second half I only talked to explain what I was doing and the rest of the time you just had the music in the background and the time lapse on screen. So for today's episode, I'm just doing this nice intro bit, which won't be too long. And then for most of the episode, it's just going to be the second style. Now, what I want you to do, which may be a huge mistake on my part, but what I'm asking you to do viewing this video is if you like this style of sort of just occasional narration explaining what I'm doing and most of the time music and time lapse, then I want you to like the video just so that I know. And if you prefer me talking the entire time, then I want you to dislike the video. Because at the moment, that's probably the best way for me to get an idea of it, without you having to like go down and write a comment and all boring stuff like that. So watch the video, see what you think. If you like this style, then give it a thumbs up. And if you would rather that I talk the entire time, then give it a big thumbs down. But with that out of the way, enjoy the music and the time lapse, and I'll see you in a bit. So, you may have seen at the beginning, I started by building a raised path platform out of the wooden paths, but in the end I covered it up with these deck parts, so it didn't really matter too much. I created a nice large platform with them so that guests could walk around and sunk them into the paths so that it wouldn't look like their feet were in liquid. I'm now using a clever method of creating a custom fence where I took the spiked fence and put them inside of each other so that they lined up to create just nice wooden beams which were attached across. I ran these all the way around the outside of the deck to make sure that it was supported and made sense in physics. Earlier I also added a toilet, a restaurant, a burrito bonanza from the New World's Fair and a pip shot juice stand. Once I'd finished, I had to duplicate it and add another layer below because at the moment it was still sort of floating. I used logs to create beams at the sides of the path so that guests wouldn't end up falling off on their journey up to the deck. I 
I then began work on a building for the Burrito Bonanza in Pip Shop Juice shops using the same sandstone walls that we did for the shop in the plaza. I used the Quinn Dynasty roofs, the Chinese theme, from the World's Fair to create a nice texture. I then use these crazily oversized beams to overlap and create what in the end looked like quite a nice roof trim, even if it is absolutely massive. I used wooden beams to add texture and style to the building so that it didn't look too flat and square. Next, I began work on the restaurant and toilet building using the battered wooden beams. I created a roof which stuck out a little bit from the out edge of the building, which created a nice overhang. I then used concrete pillars to accent the wooden building as it would probably end up falling over on its own. I added some picnic benches so that guests could eat outside after they'd collected their food and enjoy the view of the lake. I also plan on adding a coaster on the opposite side of the lake in the future so that you can get some nice views of that running around the track. Of course, I also added some bins. I added some viewpoints so that guests would enjoy the view and also an entertainment station so that entertainers would come up here and, well, entertain the guests. I also hired some vendors and more stuff. So there you go. That was episode three of our park building series. We've got this wonderful deck over here with all the picnic benches. Nice view. I think that'll be a great spot for a coaster. Not sure what yet. Maybe an inverting or it's, I don't know. We'll see what we do later. But yeah, you've got a nice view. And I can let on a secret for the next episode. We add a zoo enclosure there with some special animals. You've got the nice shop here with the crazy big overhangs and the sandstone walls. Very happy with that. And the toilet and the restaurant. Overall, I'm really happy with this area. It looks really nice from far away and on the deck. And yeah, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Need to add maybe a bit of nature, some plants around it, but it looks really great. So there you go. I hope you're enjoying the series so far and this episode. If you are, then be sure to subscribe so that you're notified when the next video comes out. And like or dislike the video depending on which style you prefer. But otherwise, I hope that you've enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.